guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm gonna be sharing all of my kids' very favorite activities that we've been doing for the past couple weeks while we are home being quarantined. And first of all, I wanna to talk to you guys about going outside. It's completely safe and fine to go outside and get some fresh air and go for a walk with your family or take them to the grass area at the park. It's completely fine as long as you keep your social distance, stay away from other families, and do not go to the park because the virus does live on surfaces. Slides, monkey bars, benches, things like that. So we are staying on the grass and just staying around our household only and we are perfectly safe. But things get a little bit boring just on the grass. We've done races, we've done catching the ball, kicking the ball, many things. So I decided to go into my mom closet and pull out some fun activities the kids have never played with before to kind of spice it up and keep things exciting. All of the activities I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today are simple ones that you can just do at home with the supplies that you probably have on hand already. This stump rocket kit is the only thing that I actually did purchase and it's from Amazon, I will link it below. But before I get started, I wanna let you know that this is a collaboration with my good friend, Christy Marie. She is a sweet mama of three gorgeous daughters. I have collabed with her before and I absolutely love her. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a highly requested video, what my new morning routine looks like since adding baby Sophia to our family. For those of you that are new around here, I am solo most of the time at home with our girls because my husband's career is out of town. We have three little girls, all under the age of four, Shukri Marie, who just turned four, Layla, who is two, and Sophia, who is seven months. Chrissy is also sharing some activities that she does with her kids. Her children are a little bit younger, so if you also have little ones, make sure to hop on over to her video afterwards and check it out when you're done with mine. I will put all of her links below. The first activity is probably my favorite one. It's so creative and the kids really enjoyed it. It was one of those activities that took two to three days. So we were able to work on it little by little every day, which just made the finished product so much more rewarding. I got these clipboards off Amazon. They were only $10 for six. The kids are gonna be coloring two coloring pages that will be taped from the front and the back of the clipboard with just some packaging tape, kind of like a makeshift DIY laminating situation going on. So this took a couple days and it was just something they look forward to every single morning after breakfast to spend about 15, 20 minutes and work on their coloring pages. It gave them so much pride and it helped them be involved with getting prepared to start their schooling. They will use their clipboards every single day to get their worksheets done for the day once we start our schooling on Monday. Another fun activity is to have the kids go around the yard and find some rocks that appeal to them, different shapes, colors, sizes, things like that. I had each of my kids and my nephew who's quarantined with us pick four different rocks that they loved and I set up a little bit of a soapy washing station and they literally had a blast washing rocks. <laughs> it is the most simplest thing. All you need is water and one tiny squirt of dish soap and they had a blast washing rocks like who would have thought <laughs> so we put them out to dry and then they had some fun in the pool getting some of their energy out while we waited for them to dry and they went ahead and started painting my whole purpose here was to kind of like teach them some kindness and thoughtfulness and at the same time keeping them busy so after we painted the rocks, we let them dry till the next day. And then we actually took them around to neighbors' houses and placed them in their yard so that they would see them when they walked out. And we put kind words of inspiration and encouragement on it, like smile, be happy, you know, good vibes, things like that. And I just really feel like it would make someone's day. And it would also teach my kids to be kind and thoughtful and think of others during this scary time.
When we have free time in the house, my little Lily always chooses to go on to ABC Mouse or Adventure Academy or a similar online learning app tool. So even though this is not one of the things that we do all the time, it's something that Lily actually loves, so I thought I'd mention it in case any of your little ones wanted to try it. It's a super fun, easy, and affordable way to get some learning time in. We actually taught Lily to use a mouse. With all the tablets nowadays, do your kids know how to use a mouse? Now this activity is brand new. My kids were so excited to try something new. I was showing them my phone of exactly what we are going to create. We are going to make a large tic-tac-toe with painter's tape on the floor. Thank you to my amazing hubby for this awesome idea. We took some tape and he created it for us and I had the kids get involved by making X's and O's on the back of paper plates. They absolutely love this activity and I woke up this morning, three days later, with little ones playing tic-tac-toe <laughs> first thing in the morning before even waking us up. That's how much they absolutely loved this game and it really helped their brain get going and help that strategy thought process going as well. Even mommy and daddy had fun battling each other and watching the kids cheer us on in the background. It was such a fun family event. This is one of those activities we're gonna be doing forever. Like even when this whole stay at home quarantine is over, this is going to definitely be a family favorite. And I love it because it's just stuff we had on hand. I absolutely loved it. This is another cool thing that my husband designed is a hopscotch. How cool is this? I mean, guys, time for dinner and see them like hopscotching to the kitchen. It's just another fun little piece of joy that is super easy and free to just make up and have the kids enjoy their time while we're home together as a family. Seriously, who does not love musical chairs? It's an excuse to blast the block rocker and just have fun. We put on some kids bop and let the kids have so much fun. We ended up doing this for like an hour and a half and they begged to do it the next day. That is what I'm talking about, guys. I love this family time that we're experiencing all together. Now on to a fun experiment. Every single day I have my kids do some type of experiment where they can kind of guess what's gonna happen and watch something grow or something explode or something take off or create something. Today, I just got some peeps, like a dollar package of peeps that I got with my grocery pick pickup order and we just had fun. We guessed how long it would take and how big it would take to either explode or to expand. And the cool part about this is after we watched it expand, they got to taste it and I had them explain what it tasted like and if they thought it tasted different than a regular peep as comparison to this fluffed up yummy warm peep. Sanitary reasons, I just had them take and spoon and take one bite each. Actually, none of them were big fans, so we ended up just tossing it, which worked out great. But it was fun and it was something a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm not a fan of like messy experiment type stuff, but they absolutely had a blast.
A couple of the kids finished their coloring pages, so I'm gonna do a quick glue job just to kind of lightly keep it in place. And then I'm gonna have my husband do the taping portion to laminate these babies so we can get them ready for school next week. But not all the kids are done, so I'm just laminating them as some of them become ready to go. And I wanna share one more thing with you. Because we are not able to spend any time with our family and friends, I decided to grab some of these leftover cards from Valentine's Day and have the kids write to all their grandparents, aunties, uncles, and close friends from school who they miss dearly just to tell them that we love them during this difficult time. So if you have extra cards and things, now is the time to use them up and make somebody's day. So hubby's just going to finish laminating this real quick and we're going to get these kids in bed. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. I have so many more awesome ideas to share with you guys if you're interested so subscribe if you're new check out Chrissy's channel all of her links are below and I'll see you in the next one guys bye